So fidelity, always we always talk about this on our show, Andrew. That they estimate that the average couple retiring is going to spend about three hundred fifteen thousand dollars on healthcare costs in retirement. Those are big numbers. They don't include long term care either. So how do you talk to your your peeps about having a, a healthcare strategy? I mean, we have to have a person that handles that. I mean, I always talk about, you know, you need a who, not a why. Mm -hmm. I mean, I, I don't need to know the how. I don't need to know the why. I need a who. I need someone that takes care of that. And that's why we have Paul in our office, who is a Medicare ninja. I mean, he helps our clients navigate the decisions of which supplement to take or which advantage plan. And we have clients that are on FEHB. They're on federal um, health insurance. And so we have big decisions to make. Maybe they're taking VA as their health insurance. So there's big decisions that need to be made about your health care. And this is something that you want to get right because like we were talking about earlier, some of these health care expenses for a back surgery can cost your family $300,000. Oh, wow. And so if you have 10 to 20% cost, I mean, that's huge. Um, the, the next thing I want to talk about, Luann, is, is long-term care. Uh, you mentioned that that doesn't even include long-term care. Mm -hmm. Here in Escambia County, and Baldwin County is not much different either, is that the average cost of an assisted living is $4,300. That's the average for one person, not two. So you had an extra 1000 or $1,500, you are going to have to add to that cost for a second person fee. And so that's the average for one person. You might want to stay in a really nice facility and that'll be even more. If you want to stay in your own home, staying in your own home is not cheaper. A lot of times it's more expensive. I've lived so many lives watching through the eyes of my clients what they've gone through. I've watched families spend twelve dollars to $13,000 a month for having a caregiver around the clock in their own home. And so you have to make sure that you're doing long-term care planning and not long-term care insurance. You don't have to buy something to do long-term care planning. And I'll, I'll share with you one tool, Luann. And that is VA aid in attendance, veteran aid in attendance. And you can Google this for more information. There's so much confusion about this benefit. It's been around since 1953. It is a very amazing benefit because it helps families with a monetary supplement to help offset the cost of care in their own home, assisted living, or nursing home. But many people, they don't know the qualifications. You had to serve at least 90 days active service with at least one day during a wartime period. You never had to serve overseas. You never had to be injured, but you had to serve that call. You have to have help with your ADLs, activities of daily living, things like meal preparation, transportation, what, again, typically people call in caregivers for into their own home. If you went into assisted living, they would be helping you out with these ADLs. The other thing is about veteran aid and attendance is you need to understand that it's based on marital status. So if a veteran single is actually eligible for this benefit, they're going to get over $1,900 a month. That one individual will get $1,900 a month on top of a social security, on top of a military pension. That's how much they would get. A widow out there could receive up to $1,400 or more as long as their spouse served at least 90 days active service with at least one day during a wartime period. They're a widow of a wartime veteran. They could have met them later on in life. They only had to be married for at least a year. And then the last is the veteran and spouse benefit, which is over at this time over $2,500 a month. And sadly, so many people think, well, I'm not eligible for that. You might be. They allow you to keep your home. They allow you to keep over $140,000 in assets. They don't count some assets in a trust, depending on what type of trust it is. Hmm. And this benefit could be a huge part of your long-term care planning, but you have to know about it. You have to know how to apply for it. And that's why we in our office have a VA accredited estate planning attorney who will make sure that you have a DD-214, a marriage certificate, a birth certificate, all ready and prepared so that if your aunt or uncle, your mother or father, or if you are going to need to apply for this benefit, that they have the, the documents in place to apply, that you have your ducks in a row. So if you want to take us up on going through what we call an intake, a VA intake for veteran aid and attendance with our estate planning attorney, all you have to do to schedule that call is call this number, 
8768. And you can come in. We have an office in Pensacola and Daphne, and we'll be happy to answer your questions about long-term care, long-term care um, insurance, and that if your benefit needs to increase or maybe you take the lower premium. Or if you just want to talk about veteran aid and attendance. So give us a call at 1-800-848-8768.